Anytone AT778UV. I have a problem with my radio. So lately I found out this thing has a, um, well, piss poor audio output in the transmit. So with other words, it has a very poor modulation. I have been confirmed by several local stations that are, that I come in with a very low audio output. Well, that's not acceptable. I own this radio for, I would say, three months now. I bought it because of two reasons. Number one, it was cheap. Paid like, I think, less than 130 bucks on eBay. Includes shipping. It was brand new. I also watched a few video clips and everybody is more than likely highly praising this radio. But, um, besides uh, the things I like, which is already, you know, there's many people already pointing those out on YouTube clips, I don't need to repeat this. So yes, yeah, so the uh, the microphone output is too low. There's no mic gain adjustment in the, in the menu. Some people think there is, but there's not. Different models of those Anytone radios, they do have adjustments, I believe. But this particular model does not. I found a couple of video clips where other people encountered the same problem. One person found a fix by simply enlarging the uh, the hole where the microphone capsule sits behind, and this person claims that improved the uh, modulation of sound output. It may, it may not. But I found also a different clip where somebody clearly uh, states that the problem is in the microphone capsule itself. So this person installed a new microphone capsule and apparently just fixed it. From what I recall, in the beginning when I had this radio, at least for the first, I would say maybe four weeks, six weeks or so, can't really remember, never did get any problem on um, a poor modulation output. As a matter of fact, everybody was really um, saying it's it sounds good, no problems at all. And last night I did a test between this radio and my little Baofeng handheld. And the Baofeng sounded better than uh, than the Anitone. As a matter of fact, it sounded almost like as if this, now the microphone is like actually breaking up the more I uh, modulate into it or blow in it or what have you. I can't find any firmware update online from this particular radio. From different ones, yes, not this particular one. As a matter of fact, I can't find any website from any tone uh, stating anything about this. I don't know if I'm just too dumb, don't find it. <laughs> but I searched all over, couldn't find nothing. So, well, there's a saying, you get what you pay for. It's a cheap Chinese radio. For the price value, is 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 good. I'm not complaining about anything. It puts out 22 to 25 watts, I guess, in peak, which I believe it will. I never measured it, but it's okay. Don't need more than that anyways to talk it to the local repeater. That's all I'm really using it for, for the most part. 
So if somebody has a solution for either where I could find a firmware update, if it exists, I even try to file a warranty claim, can't find nothing there either. Of course, I can't go back to eBay, it's already passed uh, their return policies, which I understand, you know, I can't go back after three months and say, hey, listen, the radio don't work. That's not fair to the seller who is not the manufacturer of this either. And uh, they probably would just refer me to send it to any tone because I'm pretty sure that they should give some kind of a facto factory warranty. Apparently, I found a couple of comments on online that uh, some people did return it for the same problem. What I think really happened is this thing actually went bad as I was using it. Maybe cheap parts, maybe the microphone capsule uh, isn't isn't all that great. I mean, who knows? I I went and found some online. I ordered a, a bag full, ten of them or so. They're, they're cheap. I think it was ten bucks or so for ten. I'm gonna just try it out when they come in, put it in, and um, if that fixes it, I'm gonna update, put another updated video on. But I wanted to share this with everybody who has the same radio or is looking to buy one. In my opinion, be aware, it is cheaply made in the end. There has to be a cost saving somewhere in order to sell a dual band radio for around a hundred bucks. Uh, if you would buy one from Yezu or Kenwood, you would have to fork out at least twice that much. <laughs> probably wouldn't have the problem either then yeah it's just uh i just didn't have the money i didn't want to spend it since i gotten just into the ham radio thing and personally i'm actually more focusing on hf but i still wanted to have this to work to talk with some friends from the local ham radio club every so often okay i don't want to make this too boring to drag it out too much but for all of those people who overly praise this radio Please be a little more critical. Uh, don't just jump the gun and say this is like the, the cat's meow. This thing apparently has some drawbacks quality wise or especially when it comes to customer service because so far I haven't found anything regarding that issue. No customer support so far. So okay, please leave comments even if you want to hate on this. I know there's going to be some of you that are going to say I'm an idiot doing everything wrong. More power to you. May that make your day. Feel strong. The force will be with you. <laughs> For all the normal people, if you have any, any advice, please leave it in the comment. I would appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video and hopefully this will help others making a decision whether or not to buy the same model. Thank you. Bye for now.